a COVID floor. Everybody there had COVID. I was sweating bullets yesterday, okay? It's just so sad. I don't know, it's so, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, just wear your masks, stay safe. COVID is no joke. Like we didn't know all along that it's no joke, it's not, so. I was recording just now without actually pressing record. They get out. But um, I'm getting ready for work. But here's the thing. I have to be padding up on clothes because today I wear both my jobs. My other job, I mostly always wear like little leggings and a black shirt, so it's easy. I just feel like I have to be kind of padding up right now because I have to wear the leggings now. I don't have to wear it now, but I don't know. Bringing it to work in my bag and changing at three o'clock just seems a little crazy to me, so I don't want to do that. So the only thing I put in my bag is my shirt here and my shirt. I could always change and put on once I get to my other job in the evening. But the leggings, I'm wearing it underneath my scrubs and I can get away with doing that because right now it's cold in New York. So it's going to help me because it's going to keep me warm. So there's that. I think I'll wear black, black scrubs today. Yesterday I wore gray. And the moment I got to work, I was helping a resident. Orange juice spilled on it. Something else spilled on it. <laughs> you just can't be cute. The other day too, I feel like these ones, the crotch kind of ripped a little bit. They kind of did your seeing thread. I can't even really see. But I mean like it's still together or whatever. Kind of all over the place. I came on here to tell you guys that. And I keep forgetting that I'm vlogging. But um, yeah, that's just what I'm doing today. I need to put liners in my pocket so that yesterday I was on a floor with no bathroom and so I had to keep leaving that floor to go to a different floor to use the bathroom which I feel like that is a little wild that some of the floors have no bathroom. I think maybe like three or so have no bathroom for staff that is. So I was back and forth and then the last time that I went I forgot to bring like an extra liner with me so I could change and it was just like whatever. So I need to put some in my pocket so if I end up on a floor like that today I have in my pocket. Put my hair in a little bun. Not bun, just a little ponytail. I need to see if I can get some tiny tiny scrunchies at work. I know they have. I just need to find it. Today too, I'm probably gonna have to, like when I get to my other job, charge my watch a little bit. Yeah, and maybe the AirPods. Because the watch, at that time, might be on its last leg. There's my water bottle. So in order to accommodate what I'll have to wear at work later, I changed my sneakers. So the ones that I'm wearing will look cute. I'm just getting ready, making sure I have everything. One of the girls that I work with today, I'm gonna have to text her to tell her to buy a burger for me when she goes on lunch. So when I get there, I have something to eat because I feel like I'm gonna be hungry. And I'm definitely, well, I don't have to come home and cook because there's food. As I'm talking about the food that's there, I need to put the food in the fridge so that it does not spoil and make this bed a little bit. But um, yeah, that's what I have going on right now. So I will see you guys later. just got home from oh, working both jobs I don't know if it's just me oh these earpods I love them but gosh when I have them in I can't really hear nothing I need to check on the noise canceling feature that it has because I didn't think I had it turned on but apparently I did but love them I also bought this case for the earpods I bought it last night and it came today The other ones that I have coming in the mail to die for. Oh, not really, because maybe it's not everybody's taste, but I absolutely love it. I thought this was gonna be more rubbery, like more silicone y, but. Yeah. It's nice and florally. Love that. And then there's this little um, keychain holder thing that you could put on it. Today was not such a bad day. It's currently 8.36. 
at 2 o'clock I charged my watch. My other job because I know that I was going to, or at 1 o'clock, because I know that I was going to leave at 3 and I had like 50%, so I just charged it. And I think I had it charging for about half an hour to like 45 minutes and it was fully charged. So I was able to like go to my other job, even though I didn't really use it that much when I was there. And I was fine, but now I'm home. Last night I kind of twisted up my hair and it really held the curls. So I'm going to do the same thing tonight again and like pin it up because I really liked how it held up, like I said. I bought a few things um, at work before I left. Mainly some face shield because one of my coworkers asked that I buy one for her. It's just $3, so when I buy it for them, most times I never really ask for the money back, plus I get discounts, so I end up paying way less. But um, I never really ask for the money back. I need to get two black elastic bands. So yeah, I'm not as tired as I thought I would have been. Maybe it's the mindset that I went, went into it with, because I was just like, sometimes I go to bed at 12, and if I'm not gonna be out until 12, one o'clock, like, I should be fine to work both places. If I were to double at the nursing home, I wouldn't get off until 11 p.m. And I feel like even then I still would have been fine. So I just did a couple hours here this evening. I feel like it kind of works out better for my mental health too, because um, it's, I'm not at the same place all day long, just dealing with the same thing the entire day. So that was really good. I had like a change of scenery, so. It wasn't that crappy but um today was kind of sad this morning as soon as we went in they called stat on um the floor that i worked on yesterday and the floor that i worked on yesterday was a covid floor everybody there had covid i was sweating bullets yesterday okay and they called for one of the people that i had yesterday and that was very sad because you know the man ended up dying and it's crazy because yesterday when I had him I cleaned him up so nicely and separate from cleaning him up nicely you know the most of the time he was saying he was having issues breathing and so um they had to give him the oxygen on in the little tank as opposed to the one that was plugged in because the one on the tank is supposedly stronger yeah so um they gave him that one and he was just in there with it and at one point i asked him if he wanted me to turn the one that was plugged into the wall off and he was just like no i'm gonna go back to it soon but i remember going in there a few times too and he was just telling me that he was like i went in there twice and he was like can you turn it up one more notch because i don't feel like i'm getting anything like he was just fighting to get like a little bit of oxygen and to see that he died today it was just like wow he well he didn't have his last conversation with me because obviously there was another shift after the shift i did but it was just so sad to know that i spoke to him last yesterday and he was talking to me and it wasn't really anything important because a lot of the residents are confused and then with covid and everything but you know he was just talking about how his night was and you know how um he wasn't he wasn't um, really hungry because I had served him breakfast and he didn't really eat much and then I served him a lunch and out of the lunch he said he didn't really have an appetite and so I poured the soup in a cup and I told him to drink the soup while it's still hot and he was like yeah just leave it there and I went back twice and checked and he still didn't drink the soup but it's just so sad I don't know it's so I don't know I don't know guys just wear your masks stay safe COVID is no joke. Like, we didn't know all along that it's no joke. It's not. So, 